UniWave 200. In recent weeks, the UniWave 200 gadget has made important and considerable progress. On June 18th, the device produced electrical energy for the Hydro Tasmania grid for the first time. Power was sporadically exported in relatively small sea states, while the onboard systems were being physically observed as generation was then significantly built up. After that, the machine could be controlled remotely, albeit human operation was still necessary while the control systems were still being refined. Over the past few weeks, the UniWave 200 device has been used in a wider range of sea states, including the continuous and autonomous exporting of electricity into the Hydro-Tasmania grid for stretches of up to 24 hours non-stop. The unit is anticipated to run constantly for progressively longer periods in the upcoming weeks. Orbital 02 at the European Marine Energy Centre, EMEC in Orkney, Orbital Marine Power's floating O2, the most potent tidal turbine in the world, began producing grid-connected electricity. The 2MW offshore unit, which can cover the yearly electricity demand of around 2,000 UK houses, is connected to the local onshore electricity network by a subsea cable from the vessel's anchorage in the fall of Warness. For the next 15 years, this tidal turbine, which weighs 680 metric tons, will run off the coast of Orkney. It will also supply energy to a stationary electrolyzer that produces green hydrogen. Public lenders provided the money for this project, and the Scottish Government contributed $4.72 million through the Saltire Tidal Energy Challenge Fund. The Wavestar Machine with floats that rise and fall in tandem with the up and down motion of waves, the Wavestar machine generates energy from waves. Arms connecting the floats to a platform with legs anchored to the ocean floor. Hydraulics is used to convert the float's motion into the rotation of a generator, which generates power. The machine's length is covered in waves, each of which lifts 20 floats. This allows for smooth output and continuous energy generation for the generator and motor. One of the few techniques to transform fluctuating wave power into the high-speed rotation required to generate energy production, this is a radical new standard and a singular idea in the field of wave energy. Wave energy is more predictable than wind because waves come and go slowly and can be forecast for 24 hours. The Wavestar machine could also be installed together with a wind turbine, which would further increase efficiency and reduce setup costs. PB3 Powerboy. George H. Kirby, president and CEO of OPT, stated that the PB3 Powerboy continues to validate its durability as a proven marine power asset. The operation in the Adriatic Sea exemplifies the PB3's capabilities in real time and is an ongoing testament to OPT's ability to deliver established technologies, constantly reinforcing our standing as a leader in offshore power solutions able to meet the specific needs of our customers, according to OPT. The PB3 Powerboy lease was initially renewed by ENI in March 2020 for an additional 18 months. It was initially leased by ENI in 2018 for an 18-month mission to transform wave energy into electricity for powering underwater vehicles. Since its deployment, this PB3 power buoy has generated more than 2.7 NWH. Taom Salk. Typically, hydroelectric power plants are built to produce electricity by capturing and improving the river's natural water flow. The typical hydroelectric power plant necessitates the construction of a semi-natural water reservoir by erecting a dam wall on a river's course, which causes enormous amounts of water to accumulate. By allowing the water to run through turbine tunnels, the dam wall that is utilized to generate energy is put under tremendous pressure due to the collected water. This method, 
generates electricity using the Earth's gravity and a river's natural water flow. Only the upkeep of the dam wall and the facilities on it necessitates some costs. But the Taum Sork hydroelectric power station belongs to a more specific type of power plant, a pump storage hydroelectric power station. There is no natural water inflow and the power generating reservoir is filled by few pumps. Water Rotor The Water Rotor was established in 2011 and has since emerged as the best renewable energy option for addressing energy shortages on a worldwide scale. The business is now prepared to meet demand from the worldwide market, starting with underserved areas and then moving into other markets. The 800 million people who rely on expensive fossil fuel generators for their electricity, as well as the 1.2 billion people without access to electricity, will receive affordable electricity from Water Otor Energy Technologies, Inc. The Water Otor is the first invention that can economically and affordably generate power from the planet's 71% of still water. The high energy output, despite running at very low water flow speeds, as slow as 2 to 6 miles per hour, has not been matched by any other water energy extraction system. This represents a $100 billion market that is presently untouched. Landistry We now travel to Landistry, Netherlands, to meet the next game-changing invention, Landustrik's screw turbine, which, in keeping with Dutch proficiency in water management, converts canal height differences into power. It's amazing how much power it can produce with just a one meter height differential and a 500 liter per second water flow. The Landustric screw turbine is small, simple to install and economical in terms of maintenance costs, just like its forebears. It is tough and can survive ice and harsh canal conditions while protecting our aquatic creatures. It is impressive that it can continually produce up to 100 kilowatts of electricity and that it continues to provide energy even when there is little water flow. The fact that it has no emissions is the best part. Open Hydro During low and high tides, the Open Hydro device uses the input and outflow of water to produce electricity. The turbine measures 16 meters in diameter. The deployed chain flex motor and signal wires are safeguarded by the Egus E-Chain 4040 from the E4-4 series during the rising and lowering motions of the turbine, as well as against hostile environmental conditions. With the sturdy E-Chain led in a steel trough, the travel distance is roughly 20 meters in a vertical manner above and underwater. Thus, a stainless steel trough is used to guide the sturdy E-Chain. By turning through 90 degrees, the vertical journey becomes a horizontal stroke. A plastic chain makes any kind of maintenance on the open sea superfluous and was the only eligible solution because a conventional metal chain would not have stood up to the combination of technical environment and mechanical demands. Turbulent. The hydroelectric power sector is being disrupted. The game was altered by them. It is a wonder of modern architecture that turbulent turbines are more affordable and economical than conventional power plants. Imagine having it flow freely in a river or canal for a week with just slight elevation changes. In good weather or bad, it generates electricity for you. Here's how it works. By creating a swirling vortex in a concrete basin, this ingenious turbine converts the flow of water into spinning energy. Depending on the water flow rate, it can generate up to an amazing 70 kilowatts, sufficient power to power six to seven households. But what is the best thing? It's environmentally friendly. The design guarantees the safety of our aquatic buddies, and it has a remarkable lifespan of more than 100 years. Today, we have experienced awe-inspiring advancements in renewable energy, each more promising than the previous. Keep in mind that every watt we produce cleanly is a win for the environment. Our future is renewable as we continue to discover the power of the tides, waves, and tiniest streams. 
Don't keep your excitement about these developments to yourself if you share my enthusiasm. Click the like button, share this video, and invite more people to the discussion. Together, let's spark a revolution. To ensure that you don't miss out on our upcoming adventure, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. As always, thank you for watching, and remember to keep learning. Thank you.